Gavin Efo asks, How do people in Korea celebrate Christmas and is it different from the USA? USA! USA! Um, We're from Canada. We don't know so much about the USA. No, I think they live like above us. Wait, do they live to the left of us? They live like below and to the left because they got like one of our provinces. They stole it and named it Alaska. Oh yeah. It's definitely attached to Canada. That should have been Canadian. Christmas is actually one of the most difficult holidays for foreigners to go through, I think. All of our friends in Korea, that seems to be the time period where we miss our family and friends the most. It's really hard on us now. Yeah, and I think that's because it is so differently celebrated in Korea. One of the things that we find the most difficult about Christmas in Korea is that it just really seems like they're lacking Christmas spirit here. I mean, it's not entirely non-existent, it's just not as overwhelming and cheery as usual. And it's funny the things that we're talking about for Christmas cheer, like decorations and other things, because mm. I totally took them for granted living in Canada. I was just like, oh, Christmas time's coming, all this stuff is happening in the mall. But there's a lot of stuff that actually helps you like build up and feel like excited, like Christmas is coming, Christmas is Santa is coming, that's gonna be a Christmas miracle. I'm gonna go to church with my family, then we're gonna have turkey, I'm gonna open gifts inside, it's gonna come with me, awesome, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna snow, it's gonna be the best, can't wait, Christmas, it's Christmas. Ah! I've been living in Korea for a while Christmas! now, and my Christmas cheer is all but gone. Christmas time, <clears throat> Christmas time, he's here. That's the only line I know. Anyways, it's sorely lacking in that rendition that Martina just did. Not the singing rendition, but the jumping around rendition. Okay, so let's talk about what's happening decoration-wise. Right. So when it comes to retail stores, you do see a lot of like Christmas decorations mm -hmm. there. You see like trees with elegant lights, and you see sometimes like snowman decorations outside. And the coffee shops too are really decorated. Right. So like even if it's like a super retail coffee shop like Starbucks, they've got like the typical decorations, but even the small shops will have like little baby Christmas trees and but the Christmas decorations in retail stores don't really have that kind of like big chunky kind of Christmas feel to it. It seems like ultra modern Christmas. Mm. Like we've seen Christmas trees with like televisions in them and like really <laughs> sleek lights. And it's all like silver and white you and very like? shiny. But it, it doesn't have like the big very like gingerbread hands? houses and like the sprayed snow and it doesn't look clunky, you know? And there's no Santa. I know. I want to take a picture with Santa. Like I want to sit on a Korean Santa's lap and take a picture with them. I you just don't have it here. It's more like an aesthetic. It's like let's make Make it look Christmassy, but let's not give it like a Christmas spirit kind yeah. of feel. And also, like we talked about this before, whenever we walk through residential areas, mm -hmm. I'm used to in Canada, even if it's an apartment, people have their railings decorated in lights and the houses all have decorations on it, but here it's like zero. If you walk through a residential area in Korea that's not close to any like retail stores or shops, you will have no idea that's Christmas because they're like no. no lights anywhere. And oh, and Christmas carols are being blasted everywhere. But then again, they also play Christmas carols sometimes in the summertime, yes. which is really annoying when I'm trying to drink a latte and then I hear Mariah Carey come on and then I like flip the table and I start screaming at everyone and then I get in trouble. It doesn't actually happen. Awkward. Why are you playing Mariah Carey in June? Well, what's the point of that? Now, when it comes to grocery shopping for Christmas things, I'm used to seeing like gingerbread men coming out and eggnog. Oh my God. There's no eggnog. eggnog here. And don't try to explain eggnog to your Korean friends because I made that mistake and it just sounds disgusting. In theory, eggnog is really gross, but yeah. it actually tastes delicious. But if you try to explain it, just like- I mean, there's there like, there's no custard here, so I can't really explain it as custard. I'm trying to explain the taste as like pudding, like vanilla pudding you and drink, drink, and it's like Warm egg. raw egg. So outside of the decorations in the department stores, if I walk into a grocery store, Store, it's like not a single sign of Christmas is anywhere except for that little tiny Christmas aisle that has like the baby They Christmas have like trees. small trees and maybe like so small and confined it, It's not like all pervasive mm -hmm. throughout the store yeah. Which I guess is okay because Christmas shouldn't really be about like, Christmas shouldn't really be about be about Be about Whoa, I just heard myself say about and it sounded so Canadian. Did you about? hear it? About? I said about? I about. didn't hear it. I never hear it Christmas shouldn't be necessarily about decorations and Christmas. However, my point that I'm getting at is that you do find yourself being less cheerful for Christmas when all that is lacking. Now for us, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are really about like going to church with your family, having dinner and breakfast with your family, opening presents with your family and whatnot. And you don't really see your friends that much. Like you might kind of swing in to give each other gifts and stuff like that, but it's Maybe. really like a family, family oriented day. But in Korea, it is very much the opposite. Christmas in Korea is like ultra date night version yeah. 
yeah. 1,000 It's like, it's worse than Valentine's Day. Like if you're single on Christmas Eve and mm -hmm. Christmas Day, people are just miserable. Our foreign friends are feeling the pressure of like, why don't you have a date for Christmas Eve? Like, what are you doing Christmas Day? And people are going out like the week beforehand and the week before that to clubs trying to like meet each other and, and find a couple like, you need to have a date. Now from what we heard from our Korean friends and from our foreign friends is that supposedly Christmas Eve specifically is more like Valentine's Day and prom night mixed together regarding the boom boom jiggity of the romance of the relationship. It's that kind of an important day. If you know what I'm saying. My boom boom jiggities. Christmas yeah. sex. Okay. Christmas no, sex. No, that's not a song. Girl, you know why. No, I'm pretty Girl, sure. Girl, you know why. What is that? That birthday sex song that you sing every time we go to Noribong and you traumatize everyone. Why do they even have that in Noribong? So if you go out on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day, you're going to find that it's like all couples out together, ice skating, going to the park, and going to the movies, and it's like worse than Valentine's Day. Now, we're not saying that everybody in Korea is out on a date. Of course, there are people that are traditional and, you know, maybe very Christian and are at a church with their families. But from what we heard in terms of dating culture, Christmas is very big in that respect. So we usually have like a Christmas party. That's what we do. So yeah. we're having a Christmas dinner with our friends. We're gonna get a turkey. We're gonna get potatoes and gravy and cranberry sauce. And I'm we're gonna, gonna try eggnog. to make it. Yes, we're gonna make eggnog. I'm gonna make peppermint brittle. I'm gonna make a uh, Rocky Road fudge. I'm gonna make cookies with the jams in them. You know, I'm gonna play cookies. Die Hard over and over again because that's the ultimate Christmas movie. Yippee ki yay, Mickey Ficky. I wasn't finished my rant about things for Christmas. I'm gonna make mulled wine. I'm going to. I'm gonna wear antlers and make things at our Christmas. So that's really about it. Uh, if you're not religious, Christmas in Korea is like a dating day. And if you're not dating anyone and you're not religious, then Christmas is pretty miserable for yeah, you. It's probably a pretty miserable day. And I'm sorry to hear that. Christmas station of Christmas cheer. So that's it for this week's TLDR. If you have a question for next TLDR, leave a question in the comment section below. Or check out the questions already asked. And if you like the question, you can thumb it up to get it to the top and perhaps draw it to our attention. And don't forget to subscribe for more TLDRs because it's Christmas season and everybody should subscribe as a result. Yes, it's very exciting to hear. It's like one of the most important things for Christmas subscribing to our channels. Make the most subscribe time, time of the year. You can this so well. <laughs> I don't know the rest of that song. Why do we only know this song? I think everyone thinks we're drunk. <clears throat> Who says we're not? Yeah.